harder than it should be. This door has been a real thorn in my side since way back when we originally purchased this RV. A couple weeks after bringing the RV home, I made two small adjustments that raised the door's height. That wasn't enough. I managed to get the door just a couple millimeters higher than it originally was, but it was still rubbing on this plastic guide, and that made it very hard to open. There were actually times when our grandson would be in the bathroom, he would call out to us, he had to ask us to help him slide the door open because it was sticking so badly he couldn't get out. So finally, enough had become enough. Time to look more seriously at this and make a change. Well, the problem is simple. The door rubs on the plastic keeper which is mounted to the wall at floor level. This guide does have value. It keeps the door from swinging side to side, but the bottom of the guide is just too thick. It was high. It rubbed on the bottom of the door. So I decided to discard it completely and replace it with guides that have no bottom section at all. Here I show the guide after it's been removed. It's made in two pieces. The outer piece is removed first by removing two screws. The second half is screwed to the wall behind the door. So removing that second half of the guide requires that I remove the whole door first. That wasn't difficult. The door hangs on these two rollers. Detaching them is simple. This small tab is the handle of a locking plate which can be rotated to the left. Okay, that's unlocked. Once that's done, the roller's stud slides out of the door's hanger bracket. Repeat this process on the other roller, and the door is free. With the door out of the way, the old guide can be removed from the wall, and I'm replacing that with this small plastic insert which will keep the door from rubbing on the wall. The door can now be hung back up onto its original rollers. This is easy. Just slide the roller stud into the door's bracket, reversing what was done a couple minutes ago. Slide the locking plate to the right. So open. This is open. And then locked in. And that's locked in. Open. And then we push it in and you have to give it a good push to lock. Yeah. Repeat on the other roller and the door is back in place. Now we need a guide to keep the door from rubbing against our kitchen cabinets. I'm going to screw these small plastic angles to the floor. What a relief to have finally got around to doing this little job. The bathroom door is easy to slide open or close now. Funny enough, I'm still in the habit of using two hands to open and close the door, but I think I'll be able to break that habit soon. As always, looking forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.